Let's just make sure we live here. I'm good to go. <laughs> yeah. Got to do it yourself this week. Good to go. We live, live and in action, live and in person here today. So, welcome back to HDP TV, episode 11. Uh, doing it a little different this week. Got a little something special for everybody. So, uh, I feel it's only right, you know, when I uh, got to have the music to set the mood and everything. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And, you know. Oh, that ain't what we wanted. Wrong song. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't what we wanted. <laughs> We're gonna go with this one here. Get down! You know, I know if y'all can see, it's a little different this week. The angle on the angle's a little different, and that definitely ain't DJ sitting over there. <laughs> so, you know, for y'all who don't know who this man is, this is Mr. Tony Brooks. Definitely a uh, full circle from Full Circle Bowling. Uh, friend of HDP, friend of the show. Myth and the legend. Myth and the legend, and uh, the Godfather of Bowling, which oh, is yeah. why I got the Godfather of Soul playing. Oh, my <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to dance. Come hey, on, I'm gonna... <laughs> Get back. <laughs> <laughs> so we, uh, you know, DJ and Kelly had to be away this week, so we had a fill in. We called in a pinch hitter, and my man Tony said, yeah, I'm there. Just tell me when. Super sub. Super sub. There you go. You know, there you go. <laughs> super sub. But he here kicking it with us tonight. Again, back again. This is your man Diddy. Got Tim Lynch with me as always. Um, and we just here kicking it. You know, got some new stuff going on. Bowling alleys is back open. So this was actually a perfect time for the Godfather to come in and, uh, you know, drop some knowledge on us. You know, if y'all don't know Tony. Um, well, you know what? I'm going to have you introduce yourself. Oh, Go ahead, Tony. <laughs> Oh, okay. Go ahead, folks out here know me. Um, true, I've been, true. I've been around a while. Y yeah. Okay. I'm a bowler from D.C. originally. Um, one of the founders of Full Circle Sports. Try to help keep bowling moving and, and growing and doing what it needs to do in the Cleveland area. That's why I'm uh, more than happy to help out with HDP and any of the other groups in the area. I try to support everybody. Yes. Because bowling is bowling. That's what we all like to do. Yeah. yeah. So... I'm not DJ, but I'm here. <laughs> I think you can see more of me than you normally see DJs. Yes, yes. You know, I changed the camera angle and everything for we Tony might, tonight. Yeah. We might have given us some handicap pins yeah. now, man. <laughs> so, yeah, I got you an extra 10. Next time you bow, you yeah, extra 10 yeah, in yeah. return. There you go. <laughs> but yeah, just here trying to help out. And if I can answer anything, I don't, I'm don't. i not an authority on anything by any means. Yes, but, he is. Uh, I'm calling. I know a little something. something. <laughs> <laughs> he is an authority. I call it. That's who I. The, I don't even know if you remember the way I met you. Uh, this was had a I don't know how many years ago it was. Now at this point, um, where you were president, right? USBC uh, association manager. Right? Association manager. Okay. Yeah. But uh, something happened on the <laughs> one of them leagues. I can't even remember years oh, ago. <laughs> you know, I had to come to the league. <laughs> I don't think you came to the league, but everybody was like. Call Tony. Call Tony. And I was like, I'm calling Tony. <laughs> you just happened to stroll into Bowling Alley the next week. Oh my just <laughs> out of sheer, look, at least I didn't call you, put it like that, at that time. And I don't even remember what it was about, which means it was probably something minor that was just hot at the time. Just yeah. pissed me it. off. <laughs> I get it. And uh, I talked to Tony, and Tony was just as blunt and as real as possible, as he is to this day. So... As always, I was like, uh, you know what? Tony's a cool dude to me. <laughs> and ever well, since I'm then, approachable now. I don't think I was that approachable back then. <laughs> I think I was. Oh, well, at least you were cool with me. I can say uh, you were. I mean, I, I didn't was. take it. Was it. just more. It was all business back then. Yeah. I, didn't, I didn't care for it. I liked what I did, but it put me in a, you know, awkward position all the time. I wanted to be a bowler, but yeah, a part of bowling. So it's like, oh, I can't cut up. <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah, you definitely, like I said... That Shout out it. Booby. I know she's laughing. Actually, yeah. Booby was just commenting. <laughs> <laughs> she literally just commented. She said, hey. She said, Booby hey, guys. Booby was one of my regulars on the phone. <laughs> I helped him through a, a, a many a day, a many a headache after Monday night uh, VA leave. <laughs> 
Well, you heard that movie, but Tony is here. Tony is here, and she says hello, fellas. That's so, what up? So, you know, uh, as you can see, I'm doing both jobs tonight. I'm doing Kelly's job and DJ's job, because, uh, you know, they actually they had to go to a graduation. DJ's son graduated today, so congratulations, nephew. Congrats to him. Yeah, uh, you know, moving on to the next step in his life, heading off to the military, so congratulations, sir. Uh, definitely, we're going to kick it tomorrow. We're going to celebrate tomorrow, so. Uh, but we gonna move on here with the bowling. Let's talk bowling. I mean, jump right in. You know, let's get it. Bowling alleys is open. They open officially. Like you know, last week we talked about they were opening. Yeah. Now we got some that are open. So some are open. Uh, Tim actually went and bowled the other day. I did. How was it? Listen, <laughs> <laughs> I got my itch out of the way. <laughs> yeah. Well, but it was cool. I mean, just like normal. It definitely took a little time to, at least a game or so, to get back in the swing of things. But uh, um, I still feel like even though I did throw a ball, I'm not still not as pumped as I was months ago throwing the ball. Right. So, I don't know. Maybe I get that fire back. <laughs> Maybe I'll right now. But <laughs> I'm, I'm cool with chilling for a couple weeks or so again until I throw another ball. Okay. So. All right, without saying no names, you know you went to a bowling alley. <laughs> You went to a bowling alley, and I'm I not going to say no names. What was your experience with the bowling alley atmosphere? So not just the bowling, but the atmosphere. So, so what did you, well, put it like, what were your expectations going in? And then what, did they meet them? Did they, you know, did they surprise you or something like that? Well, so everything happened? going in, there's a sign on the door which says, if you're sick, don't roll up in here. Okay. <laughs> which is weird to me. Yeah, right. which is you know. Because I mean, if you know you're sick anyway. Yeah. And you yeah. already go, you made the drive to the bottom. You <laughs> they should have said, right? They're gonna do it. I was assuming that they would uh, do some kind of spreading us out, and you know, really be tripping about how close people were to each other. Um, it wasn't like that. I mean, I, we were on I think 47, 48. It was somebody on 45, 46, or actually, yeah, 45, 46 bowlers that we know. Uh, then there was somebody right next to them and somebody right next to them and on farther on down. I really don't think they really had anybody spread out for the most part. Now, of course, you have pockets of people mingle with each other. So I, I was expecting to be spread out a little more. I mean, it wasn't an issue for me. They did uh, have the bathrooms, you know, switched up so you couldn't use the middle stall. You're going to use the one and three. They had uh, the the uh, toilets and stuff blocked off too, so you couldn't use the middle one, you know, okay. stuff like that. Which okay. technically is a so man rule. Every other, other. Yeah. right? Yeah. Which is our, you know, <laughs> a given man rule. The man technically, rule. <laughs> 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 it's an right. We should not be <laughs> in the stall. <laughs> 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 yeah, come on now, come on, you break the rule. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, but I mean, for the most part, I mean, the 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 people working the front desk had masks and stuff on or whatever. So, okay, well, that's cool. I mean, I guess. That's a little less than you know what I expected, I guess. I mean, I expected yeah. a lot more. I mean, I expected it to be yeah. snack bar coverage or anything, petitions or anything. Like Not that, that I noticed. Mm. Wow. Mm-mm. Not that I noticed. I mean, you know, my thing, like we talked about having sanitizer readily available and so forth. Nah, I didn't have that. Wow. So. Wow, wow. Yeah, LJ, what's up, LJ? Uh, LJ asked, what bowling alley? No, we keep it. I'm keeping it low key right now. I ain't put nobody out here yet. Nobody on blast. Yeah. Yet. Not yet. We only got we only got two working right now. So, we <laughs> so I'm gonna leave it at that yeah. for now. Second center open today, right? Yeah. 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 Somebody's tomorrow. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Uh, yes, because we got a while before the Wickliffe and yeah, they're no, at least they're next week. I think they're June 9th, something like that. Something like okay, so yeah. two weeks. Yeah. Almost we can add some change. change. We get some change. Twenty yeah. sixth, twenty eighth, twenty ninth, and then June ninth. Okay. Out the house. I haven't heard anything about review. I call right. around a little bit. Okay. <laughs> hey, well, okay, hey. Tony. That leads us right into it. Like I said, yeah. that leads us right to I it. A couple website <laughs> houses that said June but didn't give a date. Okay. okay. Yeah. So. All right. Well, yeah, that's it. Like I said, that was my next question. I, you know, I know Tony, the man with the connections. Hey. Just try to stay involved a little bit. So, hey, uh, you know, I was about to probe you on it. Like, hey, man, what you know? What you heard? What's the word? <laughs> I, <laughs> or I will tell you, uh, <laughs> one of my friends posted um, online that they went to a center Tuesday or Wednesday, walked in and walked out because they wanted $7 a game for open play. Yikes. Ooh. 
So that's why I was wondering, was the prices uh, Price much? was $4 up. Okay, but so not so nothing yeah, crazy. Kind of normal. Yeah, nothing crazy. I mean, it's probably a little higher than I expected. Well, you know, than I remember. I, I don't... See, well, see, let me say, we, I haven't paid for a bowling, you know, yeah. practice game and got no so long. the normal Thanks, pricing <laughs> is normally like $4. Yeah, normally. Okay. Give it's or take. Four, right? Give or take. Yeah. yeah. Right. Some places are, you know, fallacious. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be like, excuse me, how much? 50 Oh, <laughs> Yeah, this was. Uh, I think Spence was kind of high. You had to like rent the lane for an hour. We won't blast like. these folks either, but it was south of here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Way south of here, but they said seven dollars a game. It was like, no, we're not doing it. Wow. So, Oof. and they didn't offer any specials yet. So right. That was their opening and, day. And I can understand to a certain degree. <laughs> I'm not gonna pay seven, you but I understand. You can't get it all back. And you can't. Right away. <laughs> That's a good point. You can't you get can. it back right away. Yeah. Not like that. I don't think I've ever paid seven dollars a bowl. Yeah. I, Two games maybe. Might have been inclined <laughs> to keep it around four dollars and just get, yeah. beware. Yeah. <laughs> we're going. Prices are going to increase in the next month. Exactly. You know. Right. Get you back. At least you get them in. Get you through the summer. I want to think. Yeah. First. yeah. Get you through the summer. No, and they then. weren't messing around. They was like wow. credit card, please. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you gonna hold fifty on it real quick? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> take Apple Pay too. <laughs> Yeah. All right, got some, uh, what's up? Tish says, what's up, big brother almighty? <laughs> big brother almighty. <laughs> the captain, you know. Oh, Kev so said, <laughs> the captain <laughs> is here, yes. So Kev, uh, oh, Kev Clark. Clocks. I'm sure the clocks are there. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me oh, see. Guys. Let's see, our girl Jay from Chicago. Hey, fellas, all the videos of people I've seen bowling thus far haven't been practicing social distancing. And I mean the bowlers. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, Tim just kind of attested to that with what he did this week. You know, he went out and said, you know, he didn't really see much social distancing. And, um, well, let me ask you, Tony, too. Like I said, I, I was going to hit you today. This was a full-on <laughs> pro Tony day. <laughs> Come on back, DJ. <laughs> <laughs> but, no, um, have you heard anything as far as any outlines, guidelines from, per se, the state? I... Or... Maybe USBC or even if it's GCBA or anything like that. I have not, and I put in a couple of fillers. I was trying to get someone to maybe like email me their guidelines, and they're being uh, keeping it close to the chest. Mm. Gotcha. So, I mean, they all they stress was social distancing. You got to get keep some distance. But I, and my question is, how are we going to do that bowling? Yeah. You know, I mean, what's it going to look like? Uh, you know, what's our new bowling model? Right. Yeah. yeah. You figure like this. Five of us on a pair, and I mean, we were at different tables for the most part, but I mean, we didn't, wasn't any of the, take a yeah, shot. I guess when, None it, of that, when it comes know, to it was, competition, what are we going to be able to do? I guess yeah. that's, that's my biggest concern, you know, for, right. for bowling uh, as industry. It's like, what are we going to do with our leagues? What are we going to do with our tournaments? You right. know? And I know I mentioned it the other, last week, you know, we're probably going to be looking at a lot of doubles and trio type leagues mm -hmm. and tournaments. Yeah. I wouldn't you know, the yeah. five man team, four man team is probably gonna go by the wayside for a while. Mm -hmm. Wow, well, yeah. You know, so I, it'll it'll be very interesting um, to see what happens. Right. Yeah. You know. yeah. I would definitely be. I'm interested. Like I said, I haven't went out to bowl or anything, but I'm definitely interested to see where it goes from here um, with this. Um, you know, my big thing has always been, you know, I'm I'm personally in no rush to get back. Just, you know, it's not, I can wait, per se. Um, but I wanted to see what the houses would do for bowlers. Basically, help them protect themselves. Right. You know, protect you from yourself. Um, you know, I, I don't want to treat it like a parent-child relationship, but we all know it's having kids. Sometimes you got to protect them from themselves. You can tell them what to do, tell them what to do, give them all the options in the world. Uh, but to be safe in whatever they're doing, you know. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of how I feel like the bowling alley is out. I, that was my expectation, at least uh, out the gate. I thought it was going to be out the gate. Like, I didn't, I'm sure there was going to be something that were going to say, hey, come on in, right. you know. We're going to put you on five on a pair here, five on a pair right next to you, five on a pair right and next to you. It's going to happen in some ways <laughs> until <laughs> something's done. I am really interested, um, I guess, to give them a little plug because I think they wanted a better proprietors around is Wycliffe Lanes. I'm waiting to see what they do. Because, mm -hmm. you know, they do such a good job 
in general. Yeah. I think that whatever it's supposed to be done, they're probably going to do it. So I really want to see them open. I wouldn't doubt if they're already <laughs> ahead of the curve. I wouldn't be surprised if they're oh, yeah. modeling. Well, they said they were remodeling. They, will they, they, the they made that mention they're remodeling yeah. already. But I, I really am mm -hmm. curious to see what they do. I, I figure they're going to go the extra mile because that, that house is, you know, impeccable. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Part of don't get out there much, much, but when I do, it's like, the place is yeah. always, oh yeah, you know, it's always in shape. Definitely. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> my man Pi out in Pennsylvania. What's going on, Pi? What up, Pi? Send us some wings. Man, listen here. Oh, we, <laughs> we working on it. Wait to get out there. <laughs> we working on it, but his comment, hello, gentlemen, $7 a game. Oh, where'd it go? $7 a game. I quit smoking when it hit seven dollars a pack. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, no. so I hear you, Pop. <laughs> he said I'll be taking up checkers in the park. So. That's just gonna yeah. kill a lot of practice, man. It's gonna be straight to tournaments and, and bowling. Yeah. Without a, and, and sweepers. Or without a, tournaments coming up. Right. <laughs> be out there playing. Oh, I get it. <laughs> um, with that though, I mean that kind of that's a, I guess another part of it. If you know prices of practice gonna go up. You know, we know some people just going to pay it because they want to bow. Yeah. A lot of people, I even over the years, when they, like, I can remember when, but, you know, like I said, I haven't paid for a practice game in God knows how long. Thank you to the, all the proprietors who know me and love me and all that. Right. <laughs> but I remember back when you can, you know, through the summer, of course, you had the temperature nights. You know, it was 80 degrees, you get it for 80 cent a game. Don't date me. <laughs> hey, well, I, I remember had, a dollar game. We had a thing called Good Old Quarter Day. <laughs> I remember dollar games. <laughs> that was a Fairlane thing. Yeah. So we bowl for a quarter game. <laughs> yeah, I remember, you know, like I can remember cheap games or whatever, but for the most part, back in the day, coming up young, um, out at Rockside Ambassador, paying okay. a dollar a game. But I must know. admit, open bowling has always kind of been up there. Different for us being bowlers because we do bowl certain nights. When you bowl certain nights, you usually get that buck buck and a half that you pay for for practice so in this right. case i get it the prices are high because and the league's going on right now you know so it's going to be kind of high but you know i i don't expect it to be like that once league is in play seven. And, yeah seven <laughs> yeah that's that's <laughs> it if i had heard five i'd have been like okay, yeah okay, I get, yeah, okay. Yeah. they're trying to get a little bit yeah they're trying to get a jump start but seven yeah other but does that Seven. I think seven is going to discourage people from practicing. You may go get in two, three games, drop a 20 and say, I'm going to get in two, three games, whatever. I'm shooting spares. <laughs> <laughs> Can't afford the strikes. No, right. No, not at seven dollars a game. Yeah. Right. No, like, Whoops. Yeah. yeah. You know, I shoot the 10, I'm shooting the seven. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but you know, a lot of people, even over the years, as it went up to, you know, three dollars, four or five dollars a game, right. said, you know what? I'm just going to use league for practice. I'll pay my $20 for league. You know, hey, yeah, I go in there and get a game in. I try to shoot. You know, hey, I, if I win the jackpot, great. If I don't, I'm, I'm shooting 10 pins all night. I'm shooting, you know, hey. That is a thing. I'm going to hit a spot Usually all night. Practice. Yeah, I'm going to hit a spot all night. And then they'll load up for the tournaments and be ready for tournaments. With the change, like I said, if $7 is going to be the thing, so you're not going to want to practice, you know, just for the cost of it. I mean, you may want to practice, but, you know. I'm taking it as if everybody's check to check, and you know I'm a, you know I know yeah. people are in different places financially, but <clears throat> I'm taking it as if everybody's a check to check. You know, trying to watching your money, being safe, and being protective with your money. Um, leagues sound like they're gonna change from what we can tell. Absolutely. So you're not gonna be doing that. I don't think people are gonna be bowling three, four, and five leagues a week like they used to, where some people did, some people didn't, but. I can't see a lot of that. See, like, like you said, maybe going to double leagues and trio leagues and stuff like that. So your practice, if you're using that as your practice, I feel like that's going to be cut. Do you think it's going to impact the tournament life with that, after that, all that? that? And this is just speculation. I mean, we're just kind of guessing. I think it's all going to change. It's all got to change to some extent. Yeah. You know, just behind the guidelines itself, it's going to change it. But if, and let's hope like that $7 example, that's the extreme Mm -hmm. Let's hope that's the extreme. And folks don't jack it up too much, then folks will continue to bowl. But if that becomes a norm, then you know, I can see folks like, I ain't, I'm not going. Yeah. You know, let me find something else to do. Hit that little white ball and chase it or something. <laughs> Come on. You know, you know, see <laughs> One's game going to run it off for 20 bucks, you know? Yeah. 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 So, yeah. It, it'll be different, but, uh, but I hope point. they don't destroy our game. You know, yeah. yeah. At some point, they got to realize that you're gonna price yourself out of the game. 
and you know you're gonna go from having a few participants to having none. Yeah. That's what I said. I'm hoping that was just an extreme case. Yeah. You know, and bad judgment. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But yeah. you think it's just the league? I mean, <clears throat> now it's us. You know what I'm saying? Bowlers. We've been doing this for years. We go out and bowl. Right. If you look at the open bowling now, you know, just go cosmic. What is it? Twenty dollars to get in the door? Yeah. It's expensive. Twenty dollars to get in the door. Door. You get a lane for an hour yeah, or right. two hours or yeah, whatever it is. To me, that's more. But that's more of an outing and an event. Okay. You know, so. When you go out for entertainment, you expect yeah, to yeah, just yeah, yeah. pay a, you know an amount and go out and do it. Right. But that's not the meat of bowling. That's not us. That's not the league bowlers who are going to pay you for thirty five weeks. Right. You know right. you can't do that with us. So it's right. it's going to be interesting to see how the the centers have to adjust. Um, but they have to try to recoup some money. I mean, I feel for them. Yeah. Yeah. You know, definitely. Says, hey, close, and they close for three months or whatever. And, you know, I, I, I feel for the industry. I don't know where it's going to go. Yeah, yeah. You know? uh, that, is, that is a worry. That is a definite worry. Yeah. Um, because I feel like it is a part of it. It's going to go away. But it's up to us, I guess. As the bowlers, yeah. one, we still got to support. But like you said, don't have them price us out of, you know, prices out of bowling. Don't shoot ourselves in the foot right now because this is temporary. I'm, you know. Let's let's say down the road there's a vaccine and everybody's you know everybody gets their shots and we're not talking on no disinfectant but uh, you know once once a vaccine comes and people can be uh, protected against it then it's not a fear maybe things can kind of get back to where they were but it's gonna it's gonna be about a year right. this season coming this uh, this right. bowling season coming we have to deal with it yep. we might be okay next year. Yeah, yeah. So I just hope, you know, we don't destroy ourselves this year and don't make it the next year, you know. So we'll, we'll see. All right. Um, well, obviously our fearless leader, DJ, is actually watching what he should be having dinner with oh, his family. I think that's <laughs> <laughs> but he told me to read his question, but I don't read questions from the site that I'm actually on, which is Hit Them Pockets. On Facebook, where DJ should be commenting off his own page, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, he can't get the thing, so you know. Yeah, that's exactly what. It, that's why I said we should wait. It's too soon. Now enter me in the raffle for next week. <laughs> <laughs> that's wrong. <laughs> so you see, you well, wait see, a minute. I, I'm not in this week then. <laughs> no, you're not doing. You are from last week. Okay, so okay, you're in this okay, week. Okay, okay. Yeah, you're in this I week. I feel you, DJ. I'm trying to <laughs> <laughs> I'll get some gas. Hey, hey. Log in, say. Yeah, yeah. Read that question. <laughs> right. <laughs> Read the question. To I got a question for Tony Brooks from Tony Brooks. Right. I need my name in the drawer every week. <laughs> but uh, uh, what else did we have here? So yeah, DJ said he's waiting. LJ said he's interested. He's ready to go bowl. He wants to bowl. Um, I actually scrolled past, but basically he wanted to practice. He's just not sure about Lee. Um, and I'm kind of with him on that. I'm not sure about Lee. I miss my team. I definitely miss my team. Um, but, you know, hey. <laughs> I'm more excited for the sweepers than I am Lee right now. I have more enjoyment doing the sweepers and us competing, moving lane to lane, than I do our three games of league. It's much more more exciting to me. And that's something we're, I mean, we've kind of talked about it um, as of right now. And I'm just going to speak for HDP. I can't speak for nobody else. As of right now, our sweepers will probably pick back up in July. Um, so, breaking news. Because um, we are going to, well, I'll go ahead and put it out there now. Our Christmas in July tournament, which we still had on the books for July 11th and 12th, is still scheduled for July 11th and 12th. Uh, breaking news, breaking news, <laughs> we're going to add the next weekend also. So the, what's that, the 18th and the 19th, we're going to add in that weekend. Um, Northwoods, as you all know, is our home house. They will not be opening until Christmas in July. So the weekend they open, or maybe a couple days before, but their technically official hard grand or reopening or whatever you want to call it will not be until our tournament, July 11th and 12th. Um, so there is another bowl, Nelly. Just pushing it out. Um, but they're opening up for us July 11th and 12th. Um, and we will be practicing based off, you know, the guidelines. We talked to Mike today. Um, it's going to be strict. It's going to be, I'm going to say strict, but it's definitely going to be some social distancing. Uh, we're going to be required to do a, every other pair. So if you want to bowl Christmas in July, get your tournament registrations in now. We will be taking first come, first serve basis only. 
And if you know Northwoods, it's only a 24 lane house, which we're only going to be using 12 lanes per squad. And probably won't go no more than five people up here, maybe four. We're probably going to lean more toward four. Um, but so, what's that? Help me with math here. Four. <laughs> what was that? 36, 12, 18, 24. 24 up here. Four on a pair, you said? Yeah. Or two on a lane, you yeah. 12, 24, yeah. Yeah, 24. Maybe at most five we'll do is so maybe 30. We'll probably do, you know, try to get 30 in the squad. That's why we're going to open up the second weekend. Um, but. You know, we got to do something. We, and HDP is going to be the crew that's, uh, you know, that's going to help you protect yourself. So, uh, all the registration information will be out later tonight or early tomorrow morning. Um, get your registrations in. We'll be there. And we're going to have masks available. We're going to have hand sanitizer and everything we can try to have to protect you um, and protect everybody in there. Um, and more than likely, try to uh, do everything digital as far as payments, whether it's Cash App, Venmo, PayPal. Um, that's including jackpots and brackets. Yep, you so, pay it back the same way. Yeah, so um, more details to come on that here in the next day or so, but mark that on your calendars, July 11th and 12th, July 18th, 19th. Christmas and July tournament, singles, doubles, you pick whatever you want to bowl, whether it's doubles or singles, uh, when you want to bowl it, any of the squad times available. Um, check our website, check the Facebook page, we'll be all on there, so. Uh, more info to come on that. I'll rehash this at the end, but uh, you know I kind of wanted to keep it going. But uh, yeah, <laughs> that was a quick interlude, quick uh, you know spill there. Um, what else we got? Let me see what we got. Questions here. Fabian, league and tournament bowlers are the only people who pay attention to per game prices, so houses should offer larger discounts for league bowlers. Agreed. Fabe, I need you back running the bowling alley. <laughs> I need you back running the bowling alley. Miss Ambassador back in the day. <laughs> yep. He understands the game, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, yeah. And he was another person. Fabe was another person that was big, you know, that, you know, well, back in the day took care of me on the lanes. Uh, you know, so, uh, like you said, he knows it. And But he was also another person that I talked to him. Fabe was like, I don't want nothing to do with bowling no more. And this was before. <laughs> This was before the whole pandemic, <laughs> but uh, it happens for sure. Yeah, I mean it does. I mean, I can, you know, I can't say I've lost interest in it, but you know, being that we change roles, you know, not so much as the bowler as much as the, you know, tournament director and stuff like that. For me, it helped. It helped reinvigorate bowling for me because I was definitely getting to a point where I was like, all right, man, I'm sick of bowling. Burn out a little bit. Yeah. You know, I mean, I started, and people started younger than me. I started at 14. I just turned 42 last month. So, you know, and I probably missed maybe two years from 14 to 42 in bowling. And that might have been like college years or something like that. And, I mean, I'm talking about bowling every week. I would still oh, bowl yeah. here and there, but bowling every week, going to league. So, it probably, shoot, four, like I said, 14 to 42 every year. And I know some people have been doing it more than me. <laughs> I started late. So I've been bowling. Let me see, my daughter is 17. So I've been bowling 17 and a half years yeah. straight. <laughs> I, the only time I didn't bowl was when I was hurt. That's the only time I haven't picked up a ball. So this is definitely different for me. Yeah. Three months of not bowling. 44 years for me. 44 years? Yeah. Yeah. Been bowling since I was 13. Yeah. Any lapses in time? Uh, you didn't bowl? I took Just the two years? I took those two years off. Mm hmm. Yeah. That's still, I mean, yeah. But those are just still like, 44 years. 44 years and years. what, two years? 40 still? 42 years? Because that was just in the last couple of years you took the year. That was off. like 2012, the end of 12, and just before 15. So right in that. Okay, so yeah. yeah. That's still a long time. And I mean, I can, like, I know my mother, my mother, she's been bowling as long as I can remember. She was bowling before she had me. I think she got pictures of stuff pregnant bowling with me. <laughs> and she still bowled to this day. So, I mean, I know she got to be, you know, 40 something years, 50 years in herself. Listen, once you start, it takes over your life, man. I was yeah. a pool player. I didn't shoot, I didn't bowl at all. And once I started bowling, everything else got cut off. I thought those went hand in hand, though. They did. When I came up, you, they did. you played pool. You See, I knew bowling, nothing you about pool, bowling at and all. You played chess in between. Yeah. All right. That's so all we did in the bowling alley. That was it. 
and Rockside Ambassador, we bowl, we play pool, and we play tunk. <laughs> Bowling for me started as a, a weekend thing we were doing at Southgate. Yeah. And that was how I met Gerald, Gerald Tate. Gerald Tate, yeah. yeah. Other than that, I mean, that's what it was. It was a, a competitive thing on the weekend. We'd talk a little trash and bowl. And then from that, it just psh, took off. <laughs> <laughs> and you just, ain't, you just can't stop. Why can't I quit you? <laughs> uh, Mike right, King we'll says, <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Mike King says, what's up, big brother almighty? What's up? Uh, $10 for an hour is a good price for this time. Yeah, I mean, I think that's good. Because I think you can get three games in an hour. Depending on who you with, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. If you by yourself, yeah, you pr you probably get four or five in. You're like, bro, come on, ain't no smoking, man. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> we on the right. clock, baby. Throw the ball. Throw the ball. Yeah. Throw the ball. Let's yeah. go. Get out the door. Hey, <laughs> come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I mean, I can see that. That's fair. I mean, I, I mean, I'd be willing to pay ten dollars an hour, and it's up to you what you do with that hour. Right. You know. I, I figure right now they can almost get whatever they want out of a lot right. of bowlers. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. So, like you said, and seven, they will seven bucks. The, they they will yeah. do bowling specials, but right now everybody's just trying to get the doors open. Yeah, you know you got to get the doors open and try to get some bowlers in because, like I said, they they took a hit. Yeah, yeah. Because I'm telling, when I was driving to the, to the facility, my thought was I got a hot twenty for them. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I had that hot twenty ready. <laughs> uh, Maurice Moore said Texas. Uh, they just had a tournament, five man tournament down. Or, or Texas just had a tournament, five on a pair. The hell with social distancing. Yeah, a lot of people ain't caring, man. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, what else we got here? What else? What else? Spins. Tish was saying spins and independence is always charged two dollars per game. So I don't know if they're gonna keep that. If anybody knows, let me know. If anybody affiliated with spins, I, I feel is like watching. that's if you're a league bowler. Yeah. yeah, I can see that. Yeah. And, and I come had, up there they had on the regular specials too. You can yes. rent yeah. the lanes for two hours during yeah. the day too. Yeah, because you come up on the weekend, yeah, they hit you across the head with that bat. <laughs> 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 Not with the bat. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's how you feel. They get that price. Do say thirty dollars. Yeah, they were, <laughs> but they were really good with doing uh, daytime specials. Yes, definitely good with daytime yeah. specials. Yeah. yeah, you get in there, and it was I don't think it was eleven dollars. It was somewhere around there, eleven twelve dollars. It was two hours. Yeah, two hours of bowling. Yeah, man. look, I came, I came in there with my Bible on the weekend. I have league up here. <laughs> <laughs> they like, man, I don't remember seeing you. What night you on? But Monday. He like uh, thirty dollars, bro. Monday morning. <laughs> Ain't no weekend specials. Man, yeah, that was a great league. That was a great league. That Monday morning. <laughs> Monday morning. Yeah. yeah, that was a great league. I, I miss yeah. it. Uh, Maurice Moore, I feel two thousand twenty leagues are done. Hopefully, some tournaments will run and we will lose thirty percent of the bowlers. Uh, who was well? We were lose thirty percent of the bowlers who were on the fence of quitting the game anyway. Uh, maybe I mean I kind of changed my tune on that one. I don't know. I know there are going to be some people who just say, you know what, I'm done with it. You know, mm -hmm. hey, I had my time. Like you said, I've put my thirty years in, my forty years. Yeah. <laughs> Give me my gold watch. It's time to retire. Yeah, every time there's a major change <laughs> when we, when they went to no smoking. We lost a ton. They just said refu they refused to not that was be, a big chat. I do remember that. Smoke. Yeah. I remember that was that was huge. I I remember the week they stopped because <laughs> the week you were in there, I was maybe seventeen, somewhere in there, eighteen. My parents still bowled on Saturday night, and you never realize how smoky the bowling alley was the, all the time you were in there. When you walked in there that next week after that band happened. <laughs> Man, yeah. <laughs> it was like I can see clearly. I feel now. like that should have always been a rule, though. It, it probably should have. It should have always been a rule <laughs> to not do smoking well, in the alley. Yeah, I mean, it went, it went hand in hand, you know. Yeah, the, Again, the, yeah. the way bowling came up, you right. know, it was blue collar. They, they smoke and drink, you yeah. know, so you had to love them do what they're going to do. Right. Yeah. You know, come home, you get undressed in the garage because. <laughs> that's what you smell like when you you've been in the bowling for five yeah. hours. That's for sure. <laughs> you know? yeah. That's for sure. Keith, what's up? Keith Clark says, what's up, everybody? What up? He's waiting Keith for Clark. his guest appearance. Whenever you're ready, Keith, we got you. You know, Tony, we did the first 10. Tony got episode 11. Maybe we bring you in for like episode 15 or something like that. Which which one got the sons? Keith or Kevin? I thought they both got did. Got a son. Both of them do? I thought they did. I, no, Keith no. got daughters. I think. Yeah. Keith got daughters. So Kevin got the son. Right. Yeah. I saw his son in South Bugle. I should have just kidnapped him and made him come in. <laughs> <laughs> I just him a cop. Mm. <laughs> 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 I rolled right 
by him too. Uh, Gwen, Gwen Smith just says, uh, she says, uh, spins is ten, $10 for two hours okay. from 10 to four. So it's still 10. So okay. if you're going, uh, if you're going to that's spins, well, well, I'm assuming independence, that's yeah. the one she's at. Um, I know there are other ones, but I would assume they're probably somewhere around the same thing, but from 10 to $10 for two hours from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. So, if you want to practice, I'm assuming they're open and ready to go based off what Gwen's telling me. So, like I said, keep them coming. If you know any bowling alleys that are open and what their specials are, what prices they're running, I mean, we want to be informative and pass it on. Um, Tony picked up some. If you haven't heard already, I have them. Go through them again if you know. <laughs> <laughs> You Most know, of them know. south of here, though, right? You see? Uh, yeah, but I was in in the area. Like I said, um, oh goodness, it just went senior moment. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Wickless. So Brookgate, Brookgate, Brookgate. Okay. Brookgate just opened. Um, I know we have Yorktown is in June. Supposedly Wickliffe Lanes. I thought they said the the ninth, yeah. June okay. 9th. And then I know Madison Square is in June, West Side, but didn't give us a date yet. Still waiting to hear back from Buckeye. Okay. But, you know, it looks like everybody's trying it somewhere in June, you know, yeah. the next week or two. Mm -hmm. They're going to try to get the dirt. Early, mid, so, June. I'm sure they need time to figure out, you know, okay. how they're going to run the place and what they're going to do. So. And, and that's, that's a lot of what I'm interested in. Like I said, Tim went to a bowling alley. Pretty much just opened back up from the way it was day one. Um, or from the day it closed, I guess. Not really too much social distancing besides masks and stuff like that from the workers. Um, but I'm interested to see. I mean, I want to know who, how far some are going to go. Exactly. We've seen partitions. I've seen partitions with pictures up, you know, or, you know, if anybody did that, I'd probably expect Wycliffe to do it. Uh, like I said, I mean, I think they're going to be the model, the mold for a lot of bowling alleys, or what bowling alley should be doing. Um, snack bar is probably going to look like the convenience store now with a, <laughs> some, type, some type of petition a <laughs> shield yeah, up yeah. you know a bulletproof glass <laughs> um, <laughs> come to the microphone tell me what you're doing. <laughs> right <laughs> which is hopefully not because <laughs> everybody gonna be doing that so let that, me get a burger yeah. no <laughs> no <laughs> change that change that <laughs> I said not up here but uh, what is Socorro Lanes where Tony Black's tournament is mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. they had pictures online already showing you what they were doing yeah, uh, they space the chairs out, and there's markings on the floor for you know where to stand when you're in line. And they did have petitions up at the front counter and at the snack bar, mm -hmm. um, not completely, you know, closed in, right, but at least but down where you're speaking, you're not. You makes know. sense. Makes yeah, sense. Yeah. So they look look like they're they're ready. I don't know what day they were opening, but they did show, and it may be online. They did show, uh, um, did a little tour of the building, let you know what it looks like. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So that's not bad. Yeah, they did a good job. Yeah. And I mean, and I think it would be smart for some of them to wait just to see what others are doing before they make that move. You know? I believe what some of them yeah. are doing. Like, I'm not going to move yeah. yet. <laughs> and I, I mean, uh, why not? Yeah. <laughs> why not? Uh, Gwen, another update from Gwen. Twin is open right now, although it's not everybody's favorite bowling alley, except Tim's. <laughs> <laughs> that's Tim's, but that's Tim's place. Tim and Mike King, Tim, Mike King, and uh, Brandon. <laughs> that's y'all yeah, bowling alley. <laughs> But uh, I guess they're open now. Um, That's so. good to know. So, they're going another one. So, if you're ready to bowl, got a couple alleys open. Over in the next week or two, uh, some more will be open. Like I said, I can only speak for Northwoods right now. They won't be open until July. So, uh, you know, something else, something else going on. We can go to Twin and Jackpot, two on a pair. Let's go. Let's do it. <laughs> what they like, what they putting down? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You never you know. Right. I haven't bowled in twin in years, and yeah, it's, it's sweet, man. <clears throat> you say that every time until you text me on a Tuesday night. Be like, man, it's, it, it, it's, I, I like a place that's frustrating for all of us. Yeah, not just me. You know what I'm saying? Because like, I might go to some of these houses, and I might be struggling, but I'm watching. The whole entire league kill it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. I, I want to look down and see everybody like scratching their head. <sighs> what the fuck? Twitter do it. <laughs> <laughs> not sure how the ball's going to react. <laughs> you know, I mean, think about it. And then the carry's not great. How many times have you seen Jackpot win with 220 and 230? Almost never not around anymore. here. Not anymore. You know what I'm saying? You be down there, man. You, I mean, some people have nights, but you might have two guys that shot 260, 250, maybe a 30, 40 under that. Not. 
eight, not two seventy nines, one three hundred nine. You, you short? Yeah, 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 you know what I'm saying. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. you know what I'm saying. Real yeah. short. Come on, you know. You're that, I mean, I will say that's the cool thing because that right. it's a handicap league, though, right? Yes, but I never heard like people just running away with like handicap. No, league. listen, some of them old guys will beat your head in down there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, you know, because it, it's pretty much even across the board. Nobody just has a, a, a straight advantage over everybody. Right. 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 All right. Well, that's cool. If you do, you know, you get that. <laughs> <laughs> Be out there the next week on the way. Like I didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> Your ball hit the lane and just pick off the you ten. Mean, you like, looking at your hands. <laughs> like this the strongest ball ever. Right. <laughs> I'm throwing a sandpaper ball down here. Ten, right? right. No, I never seen one. ten throw the ball with two hands. <laughs> <laughs> Please. <laughs> you got to lean on it. Yeah. <laughs> you ain't never lied. <laughs> Oh man! But again, we here Tim Lynch, Diddy, and our main man uh, Tony Brooks, and I'd be remiss if I didn't ask DJ actually ask too. <laughs> I swear this dude, go eat, man! I know you got a restaurant or something. Eat. <laughs> hey man, he might have went to the bathroom or something. Man. I don't want to take a smoke. <laughs> and they're sitting on the toilet, texting us, <laughs> watching us. I'll be right back, Kelly. <laughs> But I'd be remiss if I didn't ask. I know we talked about our tournament. What's uh, what's next for Full Circle? What's going on with Full Circle? Uh, probably October, our usual. Um, we haven't really discussed it. You know, uh, that was the plan was the October doubles and trio. Of course, this hit, so we it's just yeah. been kind of on the back burner. Right. Um, we weren't sure where we were going. <laughs> you know, we've been a little transient the last few years. You know, we left we left the palace a while back, and we tried Buckeye one year, and we tried Roseland last year. So, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Northwoods had invited us to come there, and we just were afraid that you know, as soon as we go there, we're gonna open up again. You know, we won't have enough lanes because right. there was a time when we were running trios. It was you know 30, 40 teams. Right. You know, now we've been we right around twenty every year now with with the trio. But it's like okay, you know, because the nature of the tournament is a scratch tournament, and right. Right, there's no multiple squads. It's one squad now, so that wouldn't be a bad location. But we're limited to twenty four, maybe less now. Right. So right, it's right. you know we don't even we don't even know we don't even know okay. right now. Y'all ever thought about just opening up to additional squads? Because like I said, like you said, most of them um, have always been single squads. We we have been struggling with the trio. And I say struggling, me. Um, I'm I'm an old school, old head. I I, I like scratch bowling. Okay, and uh, that's what we we started out handicap tournaments like way back two thousand, mm -hmm. and then we started we started doing the trio for scratch, and we thought it was doing really well. Issues from here to there, and it, we started losing sides. But I just never wanted to get away from scratch. Mm -hmm. But it looks like <laughs> uh, to survive, we may just go ahead and make it a trio, or just keep it as a trio, multiple squads, and you know, and build a prize fund. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's nice you get your teams out there. The scratch bowlers that bowl the tournament still like it. You know, mm -hmm. we have a lot of loyal bowlers been since the inception have been coming. You know, they look forward to. Oh yeah. Lanes are not going to be super easy. We're going to battle it out. Yeah. Right. It's going to be a cut. You got to make the cut. You know, it used to be a two day, and we went to one day because it was a whole weekend before. But uh, it may eventually uh, end up handicapped. Mm -hmm. You know, like we did, we made the doubles multiple squads uh, last year. It was the first time we did the doubles multiple squads, and that seemed to work out. Shout out to Desiree and them for winning. But, uh, <laughs> you know, so I, I think that worked out fine. But, I'm kicking and screaming. The trio was my baby, and I was like, I don't know if I want to go handicapped, but, you know, sometimes if you don't uh, go with progress, you get run over. Yeah. So, yeah. we'll see. Yeah, I mean, we'll I, see. I always you know. thought it was a, something good. I, I, I mean, like, I, yeah, I mean, I'm I, a firm believer in the scratch. I bowl handicapped stuff. I support everybody, but I like still seeing a scratch tournament every now and then. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, Especially with the element of a female on the team, 
you know, that gets the, the, the higher echelon women involved because there's usually nothing out there for them. Right. You know, they're damned if they do, damn if they don't. It's right. like, uh, the ladies' leagues don't want them in because they're too good. And then some men's leagues don't want them in because they're, they're too, too good. good. Because <laughs> they don't want to lose to them. So, so a lot of the, the ladies that are good bowlers are stuck. So that right. was one of yeah. our things that was like, run a scratch tournament and right. force you to have yeah. at least one. One female. Man, I have always felt for the ladies when it came to bowling. It's bad, you know, like the upper echelon ladies. I remember. I, I mean, I remember. in a small box. Yeah, it yeah, really are. I mean, kind of handicap. Um, I remember back in the day, like, um, when I first started bowling, um, or at least bowling adult leagues, um, there, was a, there was a lady who was just, she was, you could tell, she was just far and above everybody else on the league. In most leagues around this right. general area. Oh, was it BJ? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, no. It was a. Uh, could have been Barbara Dunn. That's, that's why uh, she was. Well, who I remember. Um, hey, what is her name now? They called her Chicken. Oh, Cheryl Woods. Cheryl Woods. Absolutely. Yeah, she. I mean, and most yeah. when I started around her, she was just far and above better than every female on the league, and you know, probably fifty to sixty yeah. percent of the men. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, and people did not want to bowl against her. Women did not want to bowl against her. Women did not want to bowl. Uh, you know, jackpots with her to the point where she yep. just said, forget it, I'll get in there. And you would see, she's got to bowl with the guys. And she's bowling with the guys. Yeah. I remember, for a point, she was the reason I remember doubles being handicapped for women only. Like, they just said, you know what, instead of just straight scratch or whatever, right? women get handicapped. And just yeah, to keep up, because she... If not, you left it for five women to win all the money. Yeah. So, yeah. um, but they've always been in a box to me. And, I, I mean, I would love to see bigger leagues for them. Because there are some women who can just flat out. I mean, I'll be honest with you. I don't want to see them on the league. You know, I, like we always talk about it. I ain't scared to bowl nobody. But right. sometimes, you know, you know those guys you look at and you be like, man, uh, Mike King again. <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> but, that bomb. <laughs> that guy but there are ladies who, you know, you just, you know, you know they're going to give it their all. And they're going to put... They go hit 220, 230, 240. <laughs> yeah, so they, they consistently kick you to death, yeah. Yeah. Sure. Um, but they never had anything for themselves, you know, outside of a handful of tournaments here and there. But, I mean... I'm going to step out of the screen. Oh, feel free, feel free. Because obviously somebody wants yes. you. <laughs> But uh, there hasn't been a lot of uh, stuff for women. Oh, okay. And besides, you know, and I'm, I'm disqualif disqualifying HDP right now just because, oh, okay. you know, we started our ladies' tournament. It's handicapped and stuff like that. It's a little something different. But even prior to that, there was not a lot of ladies' stuff to bowl. But Queens. <laughs> Hi, Amaya. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Donna did log in. I saw Donna. I can see you. Pick up the phone, Dad. Pick up the phone, Dad. <laughs> That's right. You hear me calling you? <laughs> I she could have commented on here. I, I'm reading. Hang up on me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm reading Amaya too, so you can okay. you can comment on mommy's page. And <laughs> I got you. <laughs> but uh, yeah, what was there for women to bowl? Like even back in the uh, it was Queens. It, it's Queens fairly. Yeah, is it a fairly yeah. new thing too, or no? The Queens has been around for a while. Okay, it's been around for a while, but you know, it was hard getting our girls to bowl. Yeah, up here, um, that was something I pushed. You know, 10, 10 20 years ago. You know, when Don and I got together, you know, it was like, hey, find more stuff for you to do. And then I started talking to some of the better ladies in the area, like, that's Bowl of Queens? Like, Bowl of Queens. Go show these ladies, you know, you know, you can bowl up in this part mm -hmm. of Ohio also. Yeah, yeah. You know. Right. That's what I want to see more so than anything. I would love to see more women, anybody for that matter, men, women, whatever, in tournaments or whatever. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But there's, you know, ladies and guys, there's no reason they shouldn't be bowling stuff on national levels or regional levels. You know, and qualifying. I mean, yeah. I mean, it's a lot of good bowlers in the world. Period. But uh, we got it's all opportunity and exposure up for yeah. for us. Yeah. You know, we don't always get one the opportunity, and or we're not exposed to what's going on. Mm -hmm. There's a lot more going on than than we know in our little pond. Is what you know. Yeah. What yeah. I found the problem is. Yeah. If you look for it, it's out there. There's oh, a yeah. lot of stuff to do. Yeah. 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 I mean, I would love to do more. I mean, and that, you know, I know. I can I, hey, stop me if I'm speaking for you, but yeah. I think Full Circle started, you know, was big on that too, like trying to bring something more, something new, something different to this area. Right. Uh, HDP is trying to build upon that, where we want to bring stuff to this area. We want to make bowling a hot spot for 
here again. Yes. I mean, I remember, but that, like I said. And that, that was our intention. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, when we started, there was um, Annette Scott was running stuff. And uh, I think that was it. <laughs> and then we came along, we started running, you know, a little bit, because we used to run once a month, doubles, when we first started. And that was it. It was like, man, you know, all of these bowlers in the Cleveland area, and we pack up our cars every weekend, especially during the summer, and drive somewhere to bowl. It was like, why don't we have people driving here? Right. So, you know, I got with Iris, you know, Iris and Kendra, and we talked about it. It was like, let's start running something here. You know, so that was our intention. And that's why we're so happy that you guys have come along and, you know, and Showtime has come along and Deborah Stokes, you know, we there's groups and Lily, yeah. I don't leave anybody out, Lisa, don't get mad at me. <laughs> but you know, yeah. And now more now Maurice. Yeah. You know, and and I'm gonna pick on him because he was he was a tough one before, critical of people running stuff. And but I think he's learned that it takes a little bit of work, and now he's doing it, and he sees it. It wasn't easy work. It's not easy. It's not I easy. Mean, mm-hmm. and, I mean, I can speak it for takes, It takes some doing, you know, I but I'm glad it. now we have so many fashions in the area, and now it's like, oh, where are you going? Oh, Cleveland Bowl. There's yeah. something in Cleveland. There's got something, people coming here. There's something in Cleveland. Exactly. Yeah. And so I'm, I'm, I'm happy. I was like, well, I'm done. I'm ready to ride off. <laughs> I'm ready to the sunset. Ride off to the sunset. No, you no, know? we not letting you go nowhere. We not. I mean, you. like I said, we we've been at it twenty years, guys. Yeah. So you know, we we tired. That's amazing. That is a long time. <laughs> but that's a long time. Yeah, that's yeah. that's amazing. And I mean, I don't see. Yeah. You know, hey, you know, like you said you're tired. I understand. Don't get me wrong. I understand being tired. But uh, I don't. You know, yeah. it's one of those things you can kind of do forever if you want to. Can. And you guys, you can. I mean, I haven't heard, I have never heard a problem with you guys, Herman. I've never heard any issues. We haven't, we haven't had, we haven't had any, any scandals. I remember the first um, one I bowled. Yeah? When you had it at uh, Freeway, at the big house. Oh, at the big house? Yeah, oh, the, the, the scratch tournament. tournament. Mm-hmm. The scratch tournament. Oh, okay, but not the handicap where we used to run handicap doubles. No, this was a trio. Because that used to go, yeah, that was a scratch trio. Yeah, but we were doing a scratch trio. The doubles trio. used to go to a different, we used to move from house to house every month, too. So that was cool. We went Brook Park Freeway, Madison Square. We did uh, we did Brookgate, and we did what well, was Cloverleaf like then with Spence. So it would move, you know. So it wasn't all on one the house ball. <laughs> we, <laughs> moved, we moved <laughs> it. I got a good one for you, Tony. Uh oh. When I first bowled your trio, it was me, Paul, and Burnett, and I didn't really have a whole lot of experience bowling on sports shots. Okay, so I remember. I remember to this day. I remember telling Paul. I'm like, I just can't get the ball over that way. Like, it would hit the middle, <laughs> gone. I'm like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> and that was probably, that was probably, you know, I, I'll take the blame for that. Um, I used to use cable patterns. Okay. And I used competition paddles. I didn't use the actual top level sports shot, but I wanted to use the one in between. So, and I used to flip back and forth. The doubles was... Uh, Beaten Trail, a uh, beaten, uh, mm-hmm. beaten Road, mm-hmm. and then uh, the trio was always Route 66 every mm-hmm. year, and I always laugh and say, as long as this pattern is, as much oil is out there, everybody does the same thing every year. They throw that ball outside of 10 and it don't move, <laughs> and they go get their super soaker, <laughs> <laughs> and they, they eat up all the oil that's there, beat the and now and then the patterns beat to death. Yeah, yeah. When they could have just got through some medium equipment and stayed right around the track, but the people that were always in the tops, you watched them, they came in there, they, they couldn't wait. Jody and them come in from Toledo, from Toledo and uh, Dan Higgins and, I mean, uh, Dan, yeah, Dan Higgins and them come in, and they were like, you know, Adam Barr come in, they were ready because they knew, oh, it's going to be tough, we're going to play the same area. We're going to grind it out with 15 you, games. Need, you need stuff like that. You know, that. and that's, yeah. you, need to, you need to experience stuff like that because the world is bigger than your league Yes, shot. and that was it's, my... It's not about your league shot. It was shot. more teaching to me. Yeah. It was like, guys, if we're ever going to be put on the map as, as a bowling mecca, when you think of bowling meccas, what do you think? Detroit. Detroit. Mm-hmm. Right? To used to, day, used yeah. to be Milwaukee was big. Yeah. But still, it's Detroit. They've got players in Detroit because yeah. they're not afraid. They're Do not they? afraid to play on tough shots. Yeah. 
and they help each other. Yeah. And that's would, where yes. our problem has been down here, where we yeah. Yeah. kind of close to the chest, are still saying, hey, good for one is good for all. Right. Every, you know, some of us kind of are close to the chest with our information. And we should have been trying to get it out to everybody. So that's kind of not only trying to get competition out there, but I was kind of trying to teach at the same time. Like, guys, you can't play on cake all the time. Yeah, 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 yeah. So if you play on something tougher and you practice on a tougher shot, yeah. when we do leave town, we can go crack them in the head. Oh, yeah. We don't just go out of town and donate and say we went out and had a good time and got drunk. We, we actually were able to compete. So that, and, that's what we were trying to and do. And you need to drill up stuff to compete again, to compete on the well, that, And that goes but along that was, with that's, now, the, that's, that's the whole yeah, knowledge. That's a that we, newer We have to thing. share. We have to yeah. share the knowledge. Because see, most people think that because this ball works in league, I can take it anywhere. And it's going to do just what it's doing in league. And that's where you, you lose. Yeah. Because you got all these hooking monsters. And then you need something to control the shot. Or vice versa. Or, or <laughs> something that's not going to be as crazy off the pattern. Yep. They're like... I usually throw this bitches in my A ball. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> yeah, you have free ball. Yeah. 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 When well, you can just throw it that way and close your eyes, yeah. yeah. All right, a couple questions for Tony. Tony, Tony, Tony. Uh, uh, Dingo. Oh. Dingo says, <laughs> when does the casino open it back up? <laughs> <laughs> um, this is not official. Uh, I was told somewhere around the 4th of July. They, they're shooting for 4th of July weekend. Cool. Don't quote me. Please, Jack, don't fire me. I, I, I know it's not official. <laughs> but uh, that's what I'm hearing, that that's what they're shooting for. I mean, they had a lot of adjusting to do. Um, the casino guidelines are yeah. crazy. I can imagine. Um, my understanding is all the games won't be open. Um, you'll still have blackjack, blackjack, baccarat, roulette, craps. But then you'll be limited to how many people can be at a table. So it's going to be mm -hmm. a different look. And uh, for you gamblers, uh, you poker players, no poker. Ooh. Um, the guidelines that came down for poker rooms is four players at a table. I, I mean, you, nice. you can't. Mm -hmm. it's, not, it's not feasible for a poker room to run a table for, with four players. They're not going to play. Yeah. Six, they might have got away with it a little bit. They could have reduced the number of tables and done, maybe done six. But they're not going to. People aren't going to come play poker with four on the table. We're doing Zoom poker. Right. <laughs> and only, because the only people who want to win is the house. The house is going to is raking every hand. Yeah. yeah. And you're you're playing speed cards because yeah. there's only four of you. So they said no poker until search for further notice. Right. Okay. But I hear that's happening. A lot of casinos, they said they're shutting poker rooms down. Mm. Now, yeah. do you think that they could simply force people to wear masks and stuff like that? And then they could have an abundance of people at tables and stuff like that. Like if they enforce the guidelines on forcing people um, to, you know, I don't know. There's so many, there's so many different entities with yeah. gambling. It's not just the state. You have the state, and you have the gaming commission is going to say what they have, what you know, what's required. Right. You know, want to wear mask? We can't have you with no mask. You That's know. true. That's true. All right. That's true. So it's I, I'm sure they're struggling with that because they still may they may tell us, hey, you guys don't wear masks behind the. Tables. And it's going to make it difficult to see your poker face when you got the mask <laughs> on. Well, not just that, but, but with any Well, that would be a benefit you know, yeah. a lot of people. Yeah. You know, and that's a, that's, a, that's a securities issue for yeah. the employees. Yeah. Because, you know, as it is, like, dealers don't wear anything. Not, like, their uniforms have no pockets or anything. The girls can't wear headbands or nothing. Yeah. Because they don't want you slipping chips anywhere. Well, now they're telling you put a mask on. So can you imagine? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you go home, you get three thousand dollars in purple chips coming out. Of your mouth, you, know? <laughs> you know, so you know, I don't, I don't know how they're gonna, I don't know how they're gonna get around it. I haven't yeah. heard officially yet, but I'm sure within the next few weeks we'll start getting some calls and we'll know what's going on. All right, well there you go, Dingo. Yeah, uh, let me see a couple other <coughs> comments and questions. You will definitely learn something. This is Gwen going back a little bit. You'll definitely learn something at Twin. It's definitely a great practice house. Oh, yeah. Uh, Sandra Morgan. Hey, guys. Miss you and definitely miss those tournaments y'all put on. Uh, let's see. Maurice again. I feel we are a hot spot for bowling now, and I can see it even getting bigger. You're right, Tony. I was very critical of tournament directors. 
I've learned, bro. I appreciate all your input. Yep. No problem. Uh, Bernard gave us all the hundreds. Be I've easy. For you talking. <laughs> so this is the Tony Brooks show today. No, I'm, <laughs> I'm just filling in. <laughs> Filling those big shoes of DJs. <laughs> <laughs> More agreement from Lim uh, when you were talking, Tony, about bowling and everything going on. Uh, more <laughs> Everybody love Tony. We might have to make you a staple here. Yeah. <laughs> Gwen, <laughs> say that, Tony. I can hear her That's saying That's my partner. <laughs> <laughs> say that, Tony. <laughs> Cleveland needs to be a real bowling it family. It should be. And we're, we're yeah. made strides to get into that position now. You got the PA bowlers coming in. You got Detroit bowlers coming down. I mean, that's what it should be. Yeah. Why not? We're pulling USBC numbers. Back when I was in the office years ago, we were like ninth biggest association in the country. Why wouldn't we have all the action here? It didn't make sense. Mm -hmm. You know, Detroit was probably third, and they had all the action, and we we're a few spots down, and it was like we were non-existent. I'm like, that makes no sense. People should be coming to Cleveland to bowl. We had plenty of bowling centers. There's enough lane beds around. That, that, Why can't we yeah. be a big deal in the game? That is nothing. I mean, until so, recent years, there has never been a shortage of bowling alleys in this area. No. I mean, I... Shoot. Like, I, I mean, I, I always say I basically grew up in Rockside Ambassador. That was home. But started bowling, like... First time picking up a ball, uh, what was that, Kinsman Lee, upstairs? There used to be 100 bowling centers in Cleveland <laughs> at one time. Yeah, Kinsman Lee. over 100 Lee. bowling centers. What was that, Hilltop? Hilltop Lanes. Off, uh, <laughs> <laughs> off 131st? One of, our, one of my first experiences when I moved here in 89. <laughs> yeah. Running around looking for looking for action. Where the pot games? Where the pot games? And they sent me to Hilltop. Yeah. I almost didn't make it out. <laughs> <laughs> We definitely need to get that story. Thank good. Yeah, yeah. please. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, we got time. What time is it? I got time today. You're right, right. I got time today. <laughs> Tony here, I want to hear all the oh, stories. Oh, my goodness. No, it's not me. It was just, I, like I said, I didn't know anybody. And I, I met, you know, West Side people. I've always, I, I moved here. I came West. So I was like, where's all the action? It was like, oh, uh, Westgate Lane's got a, got a game. And um, Twin used to have something. Uh, Kinsman Lee, I think it was Sunday mornings, and then they were like, oh yeah, the big game is uh, is Hilltop, it was either Friday night or Saturday night, and I was like, okay, I'll figure out how to get there, you know, I drive over there, and I don't know nobody, getting there, I run into uh, Childress, Pops, uh, Curtis, Curtis, father, okay, because I knew him from TNBA years, back when we was traveling, when I lived in D.C., I, I knew him. He's like, hey, you know, what are you doing here, you know? And I'm like, I just moved here, came. Oh, you going to play? Because he ran the game. I was like, yeah, sure. We get started about a half an hour. Okay, I'll get down there and suit up. Win, win the first game. Win the second game. I'm already getting dirty looks. And then, uh, oh, my God, I can't <laughs> think of the guy's name. He was an old pro. Well, he was on tour when I was on tour. But he lived out here. But he walked through. Tony Brooks and I was like, "Hey man, what's up?" He says, "He goes, how y'all letting him bowl and y'all won't let me bowl?" And I was like, "Uh oh, that ain't good." And they was like, "You got your pro card?" I was like, "Yeah." They like, "We don't allow pros around here to bowl." <laughs> 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 I was like, "I'm like Curtis." <laughs> yeah. He's like, hey. "I didn't know you had your card." I was like. Yeah, my tags are hanging all off my bags. I, I've got totes with... And he's like... Alright. <laughs> I think I better finish this game and throw off. <laughs> Look at the time. <laughs> right. Packed up. We got a drink. Brought some drinks. Yeah. <laughs> and when I felt like they weren't looking, I grabbed my yeah. stuff. <laughs> I got the heck out of here. I was like, I won't come in here anymore. <laughs> See, that's, I mean, that's what we talk about, yeah, people. Yeah, yeah. Let, yeah. let me look. Let hey, me I play. didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know. Hey, I'm looking for action. I ain't have a job. I just moved here and had no job. I'm like, I need to know where the money at. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, boy, you ain't supposed to be in here. My bad. <laughs> and the funny thing is, man, with bowling, you can see a bowler. 
from a mile away. You can tell. It, it's can just tell. it's just bowlers have a swag about them. Yeah, especially <laughs> somebody that's good. And you, you can, can see, it. you can you watch, see it. watch how they maneuver, watch how they uh, make their moves and stuff. You can see it. You're like, I'm in trouble with this one. <laughs> <laughs> and it's usually the guy with a two ball toe <laughs> yeah. got his shoes in his hand they ain't in no bag right right <laughs> one beer and a, and a, and a two ball toe <laughs> yep and some shoes shoes over his shoulders shoes, yeah. over, shoes his shoulders. over his shoulders tied yeah. in a knot <laughs> <laughs> you just say Mike King what is you uh, doing <laughs> <laughs> coming with his two shoes yeah one to the shoe one to the shoe one <laughs> lens <laughs> <laughs> Let me see, we had a couple other so comments. Has one lens and one dress shoe. <laughs> God, not one dress shoe. <laughs> Got one penny loafer on one, 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 one lens. That's right. Uh, we had some more comments. Uh, we're going back to talking about the bowling balls and you know pulling out the super soccer. But Bernard says, nothing wrong with having a benchmark ball that stays in the bag. Everything doesn't need to hook. Yeah, and that's yeah. that's the problem though. Most people want to see back end motion. And I was, I was yeah. the same way back in the day. I wanted two hundred dollars for a ball. I want to yeah. see it hook. Yeah. yeah, and the minute that's it didn't hook, you like this is the that's the mentality. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I, you figure that one ball that don't hook is gonna sit in your closet forever, and by the time you need it, you have not brought it. And you know what? That's one thing. And this is again. I mean, they call it sexist or whatever. I, I've always said I thought women were better bowlers than men. If they really want it to be. You just, you just hit a point. <laughs> I mean, if they really want... Because if you watch... Whether it's t women on tour or any woman that's a... You know, average to better than average bowler. She's very compact. She's very straightforward. Shoulders in alignment to the line. And they always have great balance and to me. And they don't muscle. And, and they don't muscle. That's why they're easier to teach. And... They can get better at a, at a higher rate than a guy because a, a female is going to listen to what you say and implement it, and she's not going to force it. Right. She, I'm going to try it. I got to try it until I get it. I try it until I get it. A guy's going to be like, I can do it. So we muscle everything. So it's, it's hard to teach a guy to do things properly because he's always going to figure, my go to is just to muscle it. Yeah. Whereas though a lady, might not have that same strength. She's got to learn to do it properly. So and she's gonna if you want to watch, if you if you appreciate the game and you really want to watch bowling, you watch the ladies. You watch the ladies. Yeah. You watch, watch the, the ladies, ladies bowl. Yeah. They I've bowl. Been saying, I've been saying that. All the years. guys don't bowl. The ladies bowl. Yeah. yeah. I've been saying that for years. If all the whether it's best form, if you're just looking from you know from setup to the line, I can't think of how many guys that are. Did I look at and say, you know what? That's a good style to emulate. You know, because everybody seems to be different. Right. And, you know, I think about, I always related to golf. Uh, you know, when I was starting golf and everybody was like, even I said it, man, I'm going to be like Tiger Woods. I'm going to be Tiger Woods. All the old guys was like, no, you don't. <laughs> Do not swing like Tiger yeah. Woods. You you go mess yourself up. Mess yourself up. <laughs> um, a lot of power. Yeah, yeah. And, but, you know, if you watch the ladies bowl now, you know, like I said, any woman is, can hold her own or, you know, even if she can or whatever. But some of the best bowlers out there are women. Just, for, just from it, set up to line it, alone. Watch the ladies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so. If you, if you want to learn stuff that you can actually teach to people, a lot of times it's easy to say, watch this lady. Watch this. Not a guy. No. Yeah. Not yeah. a guy. Very Most people can't do that. Like one of the guys is doing, banging on the ball. And I mean, you're, you're higher echelon players, of course. Yeah. No good, right. But the vast majority, yeah. the ladies are, keep things a lot more simple. Yeah. And you can actually see the process of what they're doing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know? uh, you, yeah, right. You can see it. Yes. Like with guys, like you were just saying, with guys, you see, mm -hmm. you watch a guy on tour, but you got to realize them guys on tour, even the ladies too, yeah. but the guys on tour, they're aliens. They're not. Oh my God. <laughs> well, I mean, they eat, sleep, drink. I mean, this yeah. is their life. So they have to do it, and that's why they look as good as they do. Yeah, so. Even though there's some strange ones out there now. It is. <laughs> yeah. I tell you what's amazing, too, is, is when you see them in person and stuff like that, to see those that can really grab on the ball and all that kind of stuff. And most of them can do that. Now, you may not see them doing that a lot, but most of them can, can hook the heck out of the ball. Oh, yeah. 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 Uh, Maurice Moore says he wish he could hook the ball. 
Hey, we all. We all <laughs> everybody wants more with that ability, bro. If you, straighter is greater, baby. <laughs> straighter is greater. Maurice, you have learned to change your hand position enough that you're you are a force now. So yeah. you're fine. He got a, he got a few more revs on the ball. Yeah, sure. he does. He, and he's got, he's a lot more versatile now. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. He still ain't shit, but yeah. He's he's not <laughs> Mr. Six Sixty no more. That's Mr. He, like Six Ninety. Six Ninety. Yeah, Six Ninety. Six Ninety. Yeah. Uh, we got another person saying they wish they could hook the ball. Uh, Miss Donna Brooks says she. Whatever. <laughs> hey. This is about to be the anniversary. Of her ass almost running me over right there at the other tournament. I was standing behind her. I'm like, oh lord. Oh, that like Christmas in July. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, she did. You won Christmas wow. in July. Tim Lynch won Christmas in July last year. Hey, she was on my ass though. But Literally. Donna definitely, yeah, she was because I was. I think she was like a lane in front of me or a pair down, or whatever. But I'm sitting there taking brackets and stuff and paying out, and I'm watching Donna, and I'm like, get them out. I'm like, she on eight hundred pace. <laughs> <laughs> yes, she was. <laughs> Typically. We well, yeah, alright. <laughs> Love you, honey. <laughs> Typically, uh, you shoot eight fourteen. Let me go get the blade. Eight twelve. Somewhere to sleep. <laughs> Typically, when you shoot eight hundred, you kind of safe for the most part. I'm telling you, I was watching her. I was like this. Damn, she's still striking. <laughs> what y'all pay for second place? Shit. <laughs> yeah. What's second place again? Yeah, that's, that's our case in point. Yeah. You know, uh, she can repeat a shot. So. Yeah. She, lines, she lines up. And she got some power. And yeah. she's got power. So once she lines up, she's going to repeat shots. Oh, yeah. The older guys, we got to do some extra. Yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> so I, was, yeah. I knocked all 10 down, but they ain't going down fast enough. I need, to, yeah. I need to hit them harder. I need them to go down now. Not the ladies. <laughs> <laughs> they all go down. All right, I'll be ready the next time my name come up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're not concerned about how it looks. They just get it done. That's a good point. You know, uh, that's a very good point. Yeah. Catrell, if y'all if y'all tournament directors keep it going, bowling will stick around in this area. Bowl, bowlers will bowl. And yeah, I mean that's what we're trying I, to do. Look, st the man bowling is hot right now, way more than what it was some years ago. <laughs> really, it, it Tony? Took a, it, make it took a, a <laughs> really oh, Tony. <laughs> it took a lot of trouble. <laughs> <laughs> um. Well, add on to that, I got a question, and I know who it came from again. Our fearless leader. Who will win a seven-game series between Tony and Donna? Shut up, DJ. <laughs> Shut Donna. up, DJ. Donna. Donna. You trying to get this man kicked out? Donna. <laughs> yeah, because cause when you are forced left, she will still be playing to the right. Yep, ball down and stay to the right. <laughs> and you all might have to pick me up at the five games. <laughs> <laughs> Tony, come on, you can do it. <laughs> Sean Streeter, a uh, hooking ball, I'm assuming he's saying, isn't necessarily conducive to scoring. Yep. I'm assuming that's what he was saying. He's, it says right. he is, but I'm assuming he meant isn't. Yeah. Um, uh, so. Yeah, and that's what most people don't understand. That, and that's the biggest thing that people need to understand with bowling is understanding what you got in your hands. Yeah. You know, like we talked about having a, that that's layout all you gave me for, uh, for trying to get the ball back off a little bit. Right. You know, you got to have stuff like that in your bag, man. You have to. I say if Jasmine's watching, we just had I just had this conversation on the way over here. Mm -hmm. The key is controlling the pocket. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How can I stay in the pocket all night? And so it's not about a hooking ball. It's about what ball can I stay in the pocket with and strike. Mm -hmm. You know. So it's not about how many boards I cover. You know. Yeah. And a lot of folks don't get that. It's. I need to see this. Okay, well, you see that, and then when you miss, you see that many pins on my <laughs> When that Greek church is in there looking at you. And when I miss, I, I leave a corner pin, I can shoot a spare. Yeah, right. yeah. You know. I think people have put too much onus on the equipment versus the skill aspect. Yes, definitely. Way too much on definitely. the equipment. I mean, it's cool to have this pretty looking ball in your bag, but when are you going to actually start making moves on your Yes. There's no shortcut in the ball. I saw you score with that ball. It's got to be the ball. Right. So I'm going to go buy the It's got to be ball. the shoes, money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Must be those and then, they buy it. <laughs> then they'll buy it and don't even see what layout you have in your ball. Yep. You don't even know what. I don't know what he has in his equipment. I don't know what what conversation he had with his ball driller to get the desired reaction. Yep. I have no idea. Nope. Most people don't ask that. They just nope. look and say, oh, okay, you got the pin up and the CG kick. I want it just like his. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right. 
I, I mean, I, you know, uh, had the privilege of kind of, I don't know if you want to say interning, working, whatever, in a pro shop for this last season for the most part. And I heard that way more than you would believe. Uh, hey, Tony Brooks got this ball. It was hooking across the lane, and yeah. he had to pin up, CG out. <laughs> you know, and it was like, yeah, but you don't throw the ball like Tony Brooks. Right. Or you don't which, throw it like Tony Brooks. it work for you. Right. Yeah. <laughs> which, which most bowlers don't quite understand that. And as a, as a pro shop owner, I, I kind of get it now that he just do whatever. You know what I'm saying? They... They should explain it to you, but most people don't really understand what you explain. It's so you waste your time anyway. You know? I get it. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, yeah, you've done, you, you yeah, done yeah, that for it, a long time, too. Yeah, yeah. I, I understand it. Yes. I didn't like it because no, I, I can't agree. do it. Yeah. I, I will argue you down. When I had my shop open, I'd argue you down. If you came to me and said, drill it like this person's ball, I'm like, why? Right. And I, well, I, thought the way, I like the way it reacts. Well, it reacts for them that way because it's drilled that way. You don't throw the ball the same. So that's back to we gotta educate each other. Yeah. Don't just you know I know the customer's always right in business, <laughs> but don't just send them out there because yeah. then they're you not, them up they're not a, and they're not a return customer. That's yeah. If you take the time to educate them and set them up properly, they come back in the door. Mm -hmm. And not only do they come back in the door, they bring somebody with them. Yep. Yeah. Like, hey, he hooked me up. He got me together. That's how you make business. Not just let me send you to give you the ball. That's what you want. You got it. Now, I'm not picking on anybody. I'm just For saying. Sure. I'm just saying, you know. Neither am I when I say this, but I believe some of them. That's to me, to me, that's responsibility <laughs> of pro shop owners, not just to drill balls and send you out the door. Mm -hmm. You're educating the, the bowlers to make better bowlers and yeah. re repeat the customers. You should be. And yeah. people you have should to be, be willing to listen. You should be. And that's the They idea. have to be now, willing to listen. Now, if you let somebody that just did set, I want to hear it, drill it like that. You got it. Here. Yeah. I get it. I get it. Here go three holes. Let me see what you do. A lot of people don't want to listen. It's they tough. Don't listen. It's a it's, it's, you got to put your tough. ego aside, man, if you're trying to be better. It's tough. But not every... <laughs> nah, there's shortcuts. They think it's just... Yeah. It's got to be just the ball. It's not It's right. not that this person puts more time in and practices and works on the game. It's just downright better than me. Right. It's the ball. If I get the same ball that this guy's got, mm -hmm. then... I'm gonna score too. Yeah. Okay. Well. <laughs> yeah. I mean, which is that's why they sell a lot of bowling balls. Yeah. That's because I'm putting them Jordans on my feet. On me, I'm gonna jump as high as Jordan. <laughs> well, I mean, even yeah. when you pop them up. Yeah. I'm too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <You're> right. <laughs> but I mean, you see that all the time. Yeah. I mean, who who uh uh who threw the pink ball? Who was that on the pro tour? He threw the pink. He threw the black widow. Oh. He um, balls too. <laughs> uh. uh yeah, well, you know who I'm talking Bill, about. Bill, Bill, was it O'Neal? O'Neal, Bill O'Neal threw it first. I remember seeing throw. Maybe it was Bill O'Neal. Whoever, and with he, the glasses. He, yeah. No, Bill no, Bill. Bill doesn't have glasses. He bowls with glasses. Maybe, the, maybe yeah. not. You know, but whoever it was. Okay. But you just remember. I mean, the point is, you remember he got on there, he scored. The next week, everybody and their mama went out and bought a blink black. Whip. That has been the game for a thousand years. <laughs> yeah. Before resin, I mean, I, I came up in a shop as a teenager back east. And when bowling came on at 3 o'clock, ABC, and we sat in the shop like this. <laughs> and whichever ball won, Berlin, hey Berlin, she's probably not on here. Berlin would be on the phone. Give me four cases of whatever. Whatever won, she could order four or five cases for the next day to be there Monday. Because the door was going to open what was that ball that they got through the winter tournament? That's what they wanted. They didn't yeah. care. It didn't matter. That's what won. That's got to be the yeah. latest, greatest. Yeah. Until next week. Yeah. And I don't, honestly don't think that people look at the motion of the equipment that's on the lanes either. Because I'm telling you, I watch. A lot of people don't know how to read it. Yeah. I yeah, watched Bill Moe. It's like, what are you looking for? I watched Bill Moe throw that uh, timeless ball on TV. It looked horrible. And he went <laughs> on with it. <laughs> It, he won with it, and it was tripping out some stuff. I was like, damn, that ball don't look good. <laughs> you know what I'm Sean saying? Sean Rash throwing Brunswick. Yeah. Yeah. I might take them balls out of his hand. Yeah. He's too good, but, you know, you got to go where you got to go. Yeah. He finally yeah. left this year, too, didn't he? Yeah. I didn't think that was a good mix for him. The, the way he threw the ball 
He did. He, he did make a couple good shows. He, he, I mean, the, he, I mean, he's good enough to make it work. Yeah. But I don't. I just think it. it yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. They got too away from what he could have done. Yeah. yeah. You know. <laughs> yeah. They just roll it. They were rolling, and that just didn't look like that matched up for him. So yeah. He, right. A lot of times, he just saw him. He was just right up the back. Like, yeah. I'm gonna hook him like this. Because mm-hmm. if I put any shape on it, it <laughs> might not get there. You know. Yeah. Now that you say so, it, and I think back to watching him bow. Yeah. It almost looked like he was uncomfortable at times. That's what you could tell. Yeah. Even though he made show. He made show. He, he won a couple. Yeah. He just, yeah. He just saw like, he was like, come on. You could almost tell the focus was on, all right, five steps, get this up the back of the ball. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> Please. He's freaking watching Norm banking him off the corner. <laughs> like <this. laughs> With his... Fan so with, with his ass with his Superman on him. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, I thought he was handicapped. You know, that was just my opinion. I just thought he would have done better with a different company. But not to put you down, Brunswick, because I loved you. <laughs> what? And I they own like, everything. Because they, like, like, they work for, and now they own everything. But, you know. Not they own everything, but when he was with them, the stuff that they had. Eh, that's what my. And then once my, he left, then they start, you know, putting out some pretty good stuff. It's like them prisms and stuff look really good. Yeah. Look very good. But they before, but they went. They always went through little. Every ball, yeah. I think every ball company went through that. They go yeah. through. They ebbs and flows. I remember. <coughs> I remember Excuse when me. I started bowling. Ebonite was the shit. And then it disappeared. <laughs> then it disappeared, and but you see, Hammer made a rise, and you know, Ebonite had all the brands. Hammer made a rise, and then they would drop off, and then you know, Columbia come out with a couple balls, and it'll make a rise, and then track never really took off to me. I think like it could have, mm-hmm. but. You know, Storm was always in the mix. Storm yeah, Storm always has been always been in the mix. Storm Storm's has always, always mix, put out yeah. a good piece or two. And now my new favorite was Motive. You, they, yeah, they've come around. A I remember when you couldn't tell DJ nothing about any <laughs> other ball that wasn't Motive. <sighs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I remember one. I that's how we met. Probably saw I was throwing something Motive too, and I told him I, I, I know the owner. <laughs> so I knew because they are the old Brunswick people. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's wrap. Uh, start wrapping up here, but I got some more comments I got to get in. Uh, Donna, Tony would win. Back to the whole who will win. She says you will win. Yeah, love you too, dear. Can I get in the bed tonight? <laughs> <laughs> Not on the couch. <laughs> uh, Maurice, you are right, Tony. I tell people all the time, don't give up the pocket and please make a spare. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Not yes. like that. That ain't how you say it. <laughs> no, right. He made some other effing yeah. spare. Yeah, <laughs> yeah effing spare. I remember I was in a sweeper with him. He said, man, can you make a fucking spare? <laughs> All right, sounds bro, like I got you, man. I got you, bro. <laughs> He's right. <laughs> He's right. <laughs> you he spare. said, damn, make a Just make spare. spares. You'll strike eventually. Yeah. Strikes a come. Especially uh, bowling the hard stuff. You guys make spares. Uh, the skill is understanding what tool, bowling ball, to use for the situation. Still need to repeat shots no matter what you're using. But the skill is the skill is understanding what to use. Uh, that's from Sean Streeter. Uh, Jay Jay Dickerson out in Chicago. You should find someone who throws the ball similar to you and get a read off of that, which is smart. Th- th- especially yeah. especially tour- tournament play. Yeah. Heck yeah. Um, Preferably crossing in front of you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's yes. what I always do. I always I would always scout. I'd warm up and then go a couple lanes ahead and scout. Mm-hmm. To see who's doing something ahead of me that's close to me. Right. Yeah. In the same area. So at least you can get an idea of how the lanes are breaking down. Exactly. I don't think I know Jay, but very good. Uh, Jay, she's a beast. She's a beast. Yeah. She's a baller. Detroit, right? Chicago. 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 Okay. Chicago. She's a ba- another really hot bed for bowling. Yeah. We were talking oh, earlier. Yeah. Most of our uh, peeps up there. Yeah, I've been to... I, in the last couple of years, I've been to Detroit and Chicago a lot more. Well, they're just hanging out for us for a while, smooth and all those guys. Yeah, yeah. just oh, yeah. hanging out yeah. and just watching bowlers. They used to come down and bowl. They're bowlers, bowler, bowler. I mean, yeah, bowler. Yeah. And they started their their, their sweet estate uh, doubles, and we started going up there. We were going back and forth for a while. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Sean, Sean again. I've always found bowlers that come into your pro shop many times feel that if they play the same part of the lane as another bowler, that their style is the same as the person they see. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think, yeah, no, it is not yet, but people do, you know, like, Hey, I seen Tim playing up five this week. 
I play up five almost every week. But, but they, <laughs> most people ain't looking at what you're also doing with your hand either. Right. right? Yeah. So, you know? Or what the ball's doing. Or what the ball's doing. They right. just know you're out there scoring. Right. Yeah. 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 Um, and uh, let's see. Chris Freeman said, yes, that prism is a beast. <laughs> I almost consider it a good one. hybrid. Yeah. But, uh, all right. I mean, as always, we appreciate it. Uh, oh, yeah. I, I haven't forgot. Tony, uh, Dingo says he got some dollars for you to sign. Don't start. <laughs> <laughs> I was visiting some dingo dollars the other night in my wallet. What's <laughs> <laughs> your wallet? In my wallet. Dingo. 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 <laughs> All right, man. But we, um, you That's know, we about to. I gotta look through mine. I got a couple uh, signed dollars myself. Yeah, hey, hey, they be gone. I end up buying drinks later that nope. night with them. Nope. Nope. <laughs> But uh, we're gonna start wrapping yeah. it up here. We got a couple of things to finish out. Yeah, dollars uh, from twenty years ago. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see, Tony. You said October full circle is uh, what they're looking at us right now. At least. Uh, tentatively, is our it's still our same weekend. Uh, weekend after Sweetest Day. You giving out dollars? You, you going through all the signed dollars you got? Going through my signed dollars. <laughs> there ain't no Tony Brooks is on there. <laughs> <laughs> no, ain't no Tonys on there. Yeah. <laughs> I think I got a Desiree dollar too. <laughs> <laughs> what did the first one say? One lucky shot. One lucky shot. <laughs> That's all it takes. That's all it takes. <laughs> um, That's yeah, right. Let's hey, just... um, I make them sign mine and date them though. Oh, do you? Yeah, I make them date it too. See, Godfather yeah. giving out yeah. knowledge. Yeah. <laughs> so they don't be talking about it. I don't remember that. Oh, you see that one. <laughs> but uh, yeah, let's start uh, wrapping this up here. <laughs> We got a gift card giveaway from last week. <laughs> yeah, I remember that night. Uh, we're giving away a $25 gift card this week, Visa gift card, for uh, you know everybody that hung out and commented on the show last week. I mean, I would have Tony pull to see the special guest, but since his name is in here... <laughs> I will grab mine. <laughs> Go ahead, Tony. I got no, you. No, no, no. <laughs> hey, Gwen, tell Tim to call, man. Got his ball in the car. <laughs> so we're going to pull a winner for this week. If you commented last week, you made a comment on the page. Or I'm going to fall show. out if you say it. <laughs> Jacqueline Coates. Jackie Coates. Jackie Coates. Jackie. So I got right. a $25 Visa gift card. That would have been hilarious. That that been a, I actually, I almost, I said, because I went through them earlier and I seen, I said, oh yeah, Tony did comment last week. I said, I want him to pull a ticket, but if he pull his own, they're going to think it's rigged. I know. I know. <laughs> oh, crap. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, uh, when you do a Jackie Coates, we got a, a $25 Visa gift card for you. So hit me up or hit DJ up. Um, and we'll make sure we get that to you here over the next week or so. Um, again, uh, just a couple tidbits, you know, a couple bowling alleys opening back up. Most of them are probably looking at over this next week. Um, but between this next week and mid-June, the majority of them should be open. Uh, like I said, Northwoods is our home alley for uh, Hit Them Pockets. Um, they're not looking until uh, July, uh, that second week of July when they open up for us. So um, just keep that posted. Again, um... Gwen says, yes, sir. She'll let Tim know. <laughs> uh, uh, Christmas in July tournament, July 11th and 12th. Also expanding and open up the second weekend for July 18th and 19th so we can accommodate everybody um, due to, because there will be strict social distancing going on with our tournament. So keep that in mind. Put that on your calendars, July 11th and 12th, July 18th and 19th. More details are coming out between tonight and tomorrow um, about registration, payments, and stuff like that because... Like I said, we will be following strict social distancing guidelines, just not even from the house, but for us ourselves and, you know, everything. We're kind of coordinating everybody, everything to make everybody safe. So uh, keep an eye out on for that on hitthempockets.com, facebook.com slash hitthempockets. Um, what else we got going? I'm trying to think what else, what else? A couple other tournaments coming up, uh, please. Uh, Showtime, I know Lily, uh, Lisa Lewis all had tournaments coming up. Post those out. Deborah Lewis, or Deborah Lewis, Deborah Stokes actually canceled she, she her tournament. Canceled, yeah. um, sad to hear that, but she canceled her tournament. But I mean, I praise her though. You know, definitely uh, being safe, more safe than anything else. And that's probably, uh, you know, honestly, probably best judgment. If you had to, if you made that guess or you were second guessing doing something, better not to do it in this uh, in this world, the situation as it is stands right now. So 
uh, uh, keep an eye out for any other tournaments coming on. Hit us up. Let us know what you see. You know what's going on in the bowling alleys. Um, Want to thank Tony for hanging out with us tonight. We definitely appreciate it. All the insight. I'm sure we really could have went for hours if we wanted to just with stories and hit him up for stories and That's more stories. Bedtime, man. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I'm going to definitely let him get out of here so Donna don't beat me up too because uh, I'm scared of Donna. Uh, so uh, <laughs> again, thank you for hanging out with us. I got something for you. DJ was slacking this week, but I got something for you. Uh, and I'll make sure we get that to you All right. <laughs> uh, real soon. But uh, for Tony, for Diddy, Tim Lynch, uh, for DJ and Kelly who aren't here, uh, we say, sh you know, thank you. We love you. We definitely appreciate the support. Check us out again. Hit the pockets.com, facebook.com slash hit the pockets. Uh, check out these videos. They will be posted on YouTube at hit the pockets. Um, and also check out Full Circle, uh, Full Circle Sports on Facebook. You still, yep. uh, Facebook page is still out there. They'll keep you up to date with what they're going to do their tournaments. Um, everybody's. And everybody. They promote yes, they, everybody. They promote everybody. So, yep. uh, but definitely keep an eye out for them. Um, and let's support. Let's definitely look out for each other. So, we appreciate you. We love you. Until next week. Peace. Keep bowling, Cleveland. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, indeed.